Amigos de B&M, en esta oportunidad nos encontramos con el manager de los Tigres de Aragua, Buddy Bailey. Buddy, welcome to B&M Sport and thank you for these a few minutes in this interview. Okay, thank you, Maria. Uh, Buddy, you have joined a team uh, with a lot of players you didn't know, maybe a similar situation uh, that you lived uh, 20 years ago. Um, what impressions uh, these new players and this new team have left you? You know, we're getting closer to being a team. I think teams win and you got to have cohesiveness and all and at the beginning we had guys from different places different experience and all and trying to mold it all together it's kind of like a piece of clay and you're trying to mold it into a pretty something pretty that you can sit on you know in your house but you know we're still working on that unfortunately the injury bug has hurt us a lot especially in the pitching department uh jesus rodriguez hurt his leg which he was hitting really well for so trying to put that together and it seems like every week it's always another injury that we need that person and they end up being on the shelf on the disabled list so hopefully we can keep finding ways to win games down the stretch make the playoffs and then get everybody back help the next question is is it is easy or difficult to manage a team on this league and why i don't know you have players from all over with different philosophies and different things from different organizations of where they played in Winnebow. Each league you play in, it's somewhat different, the pitching you face, the pitching the hitters. So all of that's difficult, I think, more for the players than it is for coaches. The big thing for coaches is when, or manager and coach staff, is when you have that many people from all over trying to find what you can do to help them to be the best they can be. And when you haven't been around them very long you're still searching for the right answers we're getting closer to all the answers but it's a process you have to go through but what these tigers needs to do to be in a better position in the standings win games <laughs> win games pitch better hit better get the hits when you need them run the bases better whatever it is whatever you need at that point in time just do it the best we can and take your chances a few days ago i have the opportunity to see you in a restaurant in Maracay. something that made my attention was that you were like you were one of us i mean you were taking some drinks just chilling what means Maracay from you i don't know i've been there long enough and got friends there and a lot of people kind of know me and whatever they respect me so I do feel like um, from America in many ways you think over the last since 2002 I've probably lived eight years in America doing the managing there so that's almost half the time in the last 20 years so in a way I am a person from America I know how to get around town pretty good too <laughs> Finally, I want to ask you two things that you like about our country that if you could, you put them in a suitcase to take home from the U.S. Well, one would be the excitement that the fans have. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's entirely different than what you see in the United States. That's number one. And overall, I think people are really, really friendly here. You know, some parts of the United States, people are kind of snobby and whatever you want to call it. But here, most everybody I meet is a really good person and really nice. So those two qualities, for sure, I would say need to go up to the world. Thank you, Barry, for this interview. Good luck. Thank you. Señoras y señores, Abu Dhabi Bailey para las pantallas de BM Sport. Regresamos con ustedes a la caseta de transmisión. Un aplauso, un aplauso para María Clara. Qué buena entrevista con Bobby Bailey.